about that. Oh god, it's rain. We're actually doing it. Yep, I've just hit play. Thank <laughs> God, we've begun. We've begun. We're only like half an hour late because of my stupid sound settings. And it has begun. Other unrelated conversations that we can't. You're all weeps. And that's not even counting the several <laughs> weeks late this actually is because we just can't get a group together. It's, it's called Saturday. the holidays, my friends. Yeah. I'm sure you're dealing with them too. It's called backup game. Yeah, yes, game. viewers, we will continue to use that excuse even when there are no holidays within a month of us. There's always a holiday. Or a birthday. And how many continents are we dealing with here? There's always a holiday. I think only two. Only two in this one. All right. However, we're also dealing with four time zones. Yeah, there is that. So, anyway. last time, let's get, reach back into the depths of our memory. Um, you guys pissed off a few elves and kidnapped right. a changeling. And it's taken literally... us for fucking ever to get this thing out the door. Oh my god, it's just mo it feels like it's been months trying to get this thing moved. This thing mm. just keeps screaming. Why? How is it grow more mouths to scream with? It's basically <laughs> it's a bundle. Of, it's a bundle of sticks. <laughs> How does stick scream? Would it help if I hit it over the head? Which um, end of the head? Yeah. <laughs> Look, clearly this is not the. This is not just one changeling that comes through the front door to make sure my kid's not stolen out the back. I double check to see if my kid's not been stolen out the back. <laughs> Where is my where is my eyes? I can't remember where my fucking eyes are. Sense. Sight. This button. Alright, you see yeah, something. That's a little light. That was me. I was finding his eyes. Oh, they're in my face. Good. Um, where's my character sheets more than more thing? <laughs> you feel for his eyes. It it should have well, that was sight, not sense. Okay, yeah, you're Oh right. yeah, now I remember what I do in my last like ex level up. I bought eyes. I can see now. <laughs> there he you go. Well no, <laughs> that turned out to be a lie. No, you bought I ice, know. and then you get your scratched. They get them scratched out immediately by an angry change link. <laughs> Clearly, I'm too close, close there. Yeah. Oh, give me a second. I'm gonna flex this chain link down then. Yes, flex. <laughs> Look at those sixes. Right. <laughs> you, you flex strong hey, to the Worthless. Uh, I don't even know why you're rolling sight lines anymore. It's just... <laughs> anyway, yes. We... Well, we do get... In our defense, we probably didn't light a torch or anything because no. of the bait. And also because the thing we're escorting is kind of flammable. Don't worry, good Gray. I'm sure you're, since you're rolling on the pin dragon sheet in the background, if you get family member missing, we all know what's going to happen. <laughs> <sighs> Pendragon. Is there anything it can't do? Yes. Yes, yes. a lot of things. <laughs> Survive a contact with you guys. <laughs> well, that's a given, though. There was a, there was a story I heard once upon a time where people were running the Pendragon um, grand campaign, and the, make, and the GM decided to get fun with it. <laughs> and he, they, he didn't tell anyone in the, in the group, so he, they were dealing with the zombie uh, <laughs> zombie King Arthur and one of the people there was started crying because <laughs> they were a King Arthur fan. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, that sounds like a fun day. I yeah, genuinely yeah. thought when you started that story, you were going to turn it into a joke about this. This this group. I <laughs> expected this as well. We put we have probably made at least one King Arthur fan that cry. Let's be fair. Yeah, at <laughs> oh, least yes. one. At least one King Arthur fan in the group has probably cried because this shit was. Anyway, so you flex your changeling, you flex him out the hall and down the corridor. Yes, flexing, flexing all the way. I'm, I'm using him to pump iron as I go, as I have him over my head. You put two weights at the end and just. <laughs> right. So you taking him to the Victor? Yes, to the Victor Vaughn. Yeah. Victor no, it's not Vaughn. Vaughn. What is damn name? He's Victor, Victor the, the Frank. Frank. Victor Vaughn, the Frank. The Vaughn won't be invented for another five, six hundred years. Can we invent it earlier, dang it? No. Is, you're not what German. Is a, Wait, what is a Vaughn? I gotta ask. Look, when you're in Paladin, you can invent the Vaughn. 
Okay, we'll have the bond. We'll have the first bonds. But gotcha. then we'll be French. Ooh, What's wrong with being French? Well, for one, it's not German, but so we couldn't invent. I'm bond. sorry. Drink wine skills. I'm sorry. You just don't know any better. Why don't I have a drink wine skill? Great. This is this is terrible. <laughs> you get one skill, just call it quaff, right? So a subset of it. Oh man, I, I aced that. Alright, so, how you arrive, so how are you doing this, you just gonna like, run up to his door and start hammering? Yes. I mean, With... I would assume Why? that we told him we were doing this. Yeah, so but I, I kind of think you've, right. you've spent a few nights just randomly waiting, because it won't have come on the first night. Mm -hmm. they've, they've, they've waited a little while and then kind of popped in. Well, so, we do have these things called messengers. Yeah. But still, it'll give you a bit of time before he kind of turns up. You know, you kind of ro roll up and he's there trying to pull on his um, actual work clothes. His pseudo version of a science suit. Yeah. The big bloody apron. Basically, yeah. Mark. And he's kind of like, oh, what? You actually managed to get one? He kind of does this, you know, unearthly scream at you. Uh, uh, he yeah. he does or the changeling does. Hmm? Is he screaming or is the changeling screaming? The changeling screaming. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, we got one right here. Yeah. Here no, you he go. sees this great changeling and immediately starts screaming because he's a giant wolf. Wolf. I mean, this is this is a man a who thought. this is a man who willingly cut up people, things, and everything and sewed them together. Yeah. To see no, what he's, would he's absolutely fine with it. Also, that's a very strange way of my lisp converting wolf. Then wasn't it wolf wolf? It, I thought it was wolf, or I thought it was wasp. Nah, uh, it just came out really weird. Yeah. Anyway, so, yep, got one right here. Go okay. ahead. Have fun with it. The polymorph-centric creature known as Le Changeling. Okay, um... Well, um... How are you going to? So here's a question: How it's a bundle of sticks. How are you going to do things to this? Fireworks. I mean, that's to kill it. We were trying to like extract the vital essence and juices from it. Scalpel. Does it bleed? Fog. You see this? It bleed? saps. It saps. We can attach a tree tap to it. Hmm. What? Part of it can like. Can you say, can we just get this how, with chair and tie How it about we let the man who knows what he's doing do things? Huh? My God, you know what you're doing, sir. <laughs> he he so even he looks dubious at that sentence. <laughs> 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 All right, King King has been, King has said things. Can we do what King says. Yep. I'm just going to uh, look at him and say we obviously haven't slept in the last couple of nights. Well. No, I don't think you would have. <laughs> um, yeah, this is pretty amazing. I don't, this is like a, a scientific achievement. So, you're going to throw science at the wall and see what sticks? Or, uh... Um, well, I have been doing some research. You know, cool. um, and you'll be happy to know it only requires one human sacrifice. Uh, at least, it, well, did you get, at least get it from the cells, from the, the condemned cells? Uh, unfortunately, no. Oh, uh, it needs to be uh, somebody who knows the target. Uh, sorry, the the victim. Um, the sufferer. Duck? Sufferer. Uh, well, we have we have the knight. <laughs> I think he said a couple of times that he swore on his life. Yada yada yada. That's true. He did. Yep. Yeah. So, like, so. what can you? What's the What's the point of the human sacrifice thing? Are we doing a body swap a Ruski or what? No, it requires somebody um, to who knew the target. To do somebody what? Somebody who somebody could help guide, like the the unknown back into the body. Uh, okay, so you're essentially somebody who has a good idea what the person looked like before they were come come like poker monkey fried. Yes, exactly. Although I'm not entirely those words. Okay, well then. 
Um, we do have one person who knows what the, what the queen looked like before they were Kong 4 megafied. Queen? Duchess. 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 I don't know, the king's still not married, so who knows? We'll see what happens at the word. Mm. I'm sorry, I just got- I, I got married not that long ago, I'm kind of in that, that, that hazy part where I want to see all my friend's head. Uh, it's been a year. It's been a year, yeah. Right. yeah. It's been a good- ago. it's well, been a good At least nine year. months. <laughs> You're not aggressing this at all, are you? Nah, I like- the I love my wife. The honeymoon period has long since passed. Yeah. Hmm. Right. So, you're kind of, you'll find him pretty much where you already, already know he is. He's built a little, like, house in, um, Stone Snake. Would it be it's, like a little duck hut? Like a little duck hutch? Yep. Yeah, in, in one of the rooms, there's a, he's got a room that's, like, got a bed and everything you'd expect. He's, he does, like, random work around the town and he spends pretty much all his money doing the room up. So he's got a very fine room for a very fine lady with a duck sitting on a, in the middle of it. Because, <laughs> you know, he can try what he likes, but unfortunately there's always a few issues. He keeps just trying to make a nest. Yeah. Alright, All right. so, um, who's going to break? King, you have Grace. You go and grace him up. Give him the good news. Oh boy. <laughs> Who has the highest grace? The king. It, it probably is me. I've got five. Uh, yeah. In it. Do what you do, great king. Apply the eminence grace. Grace. The eminence grace. Too nice. Oh. I can't say I didn't do it. No. You, you step in. Yeah, that, I, that even had quite a low target number as well. You step in, we bring out the trumpets, we blow, we fanfare your, your arrival. You pretty much just the say we have... The day's come. You're... The day's come? You have a way? To save it? Yep. Oh, it's gonna cost, God. though. I will pay any cost to my Duchess. Okay, well, I mean, he did say something about sacrifice, but I'm sure he won't be that full sacrifice to you. So, we just need you to come along and give us a hand here. Oh, okay. Hey, oh boy. I will really sacrifice anything, though. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he pretty yes. much just, like, gets his best suit of armor out, which is slightly more polished. He's, yeah. he's looking a lot better than when he first came in. You know, he's actually got his hair cut. He's, he's an old man, but you can see he's, like, he's clinging yeah. on to his nobility. I mean, you, if you got it, flaunt it, right? Yeah. You would say he's a handsome man, but he's, you know, he has this air of nobility. Yeah. Um, he will reverently pick up the duck and carry you over to, you know, the most poverty victor. Yeah. I will lean over to one of my uh, advisors, not one of y'all guys, just one of the ones that I in inevitably keep around and ask if we have uh, services available. As in, like, religious for the oh, yeah. of someone going to his death. Um, which services are we talking about here? Like, which gods do they worship here? Actually, yeah, that's a good question. I'll ask another one which faith he belongs to. The knight, that is. The knight, um, he's a pendragon, so he's probably, um, Christian. I mean, but he's been pin dragging on the on Cthulhu thing, so he could be like, he could, like, oh yeah, no, I worship the Great Lord Cthulhu. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, he's... there's a reason. There's a reason why the Crusades are here, kicking down the door. Yeah, the Starks yeah, are definitely pagan. Christians who are stuck here. Yeah, yep. I mean, also like, oh, I worship the Star Spawn. No, I'm gonna say he's Christian. Okay, we can go with it. Makes, it kind of makes more sense. I will send a priest along with him. All right. The priest is immediately horrified at the fact that there's black magic going on. You send him after we finish. After we finish, King. No, you send him before to like 
write himself. You, could, you basically spin the you know dangerous quest. You don't say black magic. Um, and he will ready himself. With almost certain success. Yeah. So he will then um, kind of ready himself and yeah. You know, Sorry, I've got my stammer really bad today. Parade yeah. himself down the um, you know, to the the room, dressed in kind of like you know, the the white supplicant robes he would have worn when he was a squire. He's going all out on this. Of course. I mean, yeah, why wouldn't he? It's, it's his heroic destiny, as far as he's mm -hmm. concerned. I'm just really looking forward to this not actually working, or the Duchess not actually being the duck because she flew the coop a long time ago. <laughs> okay. No, you, you take that back right the fuck now. <laughs> just, just considering that Gray just chuckled there, I'm pretty sure that he already had that in his notes. No, no I, I mean that pun specifically. I take that shit back. The no. flu the coop. The flu the coop. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. I am impressed. I will. Sl I slow clap. <laughs> I at least appreciate a good joke. That's the thing, it wasn't that good. That's you a matter of opinion. Well, you didn't think about it. Alright, so, you recognize it as a joke, though. That's a good thing. <clears throat> it's a start. The worst jokes are the ones no one recognizes as a joke. Yeah. Alright, so, the ritual begins, and let's... Let's try, well, hmm, eerie? Maybe thinking this would be eerie. Um, it'd probably be eerie. Yeah, yeah it's not it, full on. Does the uh, well, eerie is for us to detect it. Does does Frank have his own like pool of uh, sorcery dice tied to his intelligence? I mean, he's not a mage. No, that's the thing is that this is this is a ver this could be a version of sorcery, can you know, because he's doing his fleshcraft dude nonsense. Also, sorcery isn't necessarily tied to intelligence. I mean, yeah, it can be tied to anything, so I'm just saying tying it to his intelligence because he's doing it scientifically. He's yeah. doing this for science. Instead of, like, being a body mage where you just, you know... Do your he's more of an stuff. alchemist than a mage. Yeah, it's, it's still so, magic, but, but science-y magic. Yeah. I'll call it alchemy. Mm -hmm. So give him a nice pull, actually, in this. Because he's going to be quite skilled, so he's going to end up rolling seven dice. Wow, that's more than all of us. Well, he's got a, he's got a very his knowledge is the best. If you were to stab it's, him, he would die pretty much instantly. He's only got a body of one, but he's got a knowledge I mean, of four. It comes down to it. I mean, he's still not better than me at get Muay Thai. So, like, at at, at at just general fighting. Well, yeah, but that's not the point of. Does it, he have any master dice or edge dice? Um. Oh, he probably would have a master die. Yeah. Uh, he would have master die in intelligence at least or something. Yeah. You can't have master dice and stats. Yeah, no. but he would in alchemy. So he has one ten set to ten. So well, yeah, he master dice means that he one, chooses what he wants. Yeah, yeah. He rolls and then chooses. So, what up? He will he set that to ten. <laughs> Three wow. Ten. <laughs> but yeah, well, but that's that's good thing. enough. It's that uh, Sir, what's his name gets to live. Or does it does uh the queen horribly fifteen less feathers that you could have? I mean, at best he'd probably be crippled for life. Whatever. Yeah, left of but that's defense. still you know living. Yeah, I think with three tens, you pull off an absolute mastery of this, and you don't actually like, kill him. He will be visibly. You can kind of, uh, brink, but not. Yeah, quite. he starts as the ritual goes. It's kind of like not really that much to see to begin with, and. It's kind of odd. It's you'd expect more chanting and stuff like that, but it's it's more of a series of um like speed dating questions is the best way of putting it. It's more kind of like <laughs> the best way of putting it, just like questions about speed her stuff like dating questions. Like <laughs> rapid fire, kind of building up this image of a person, and yeah. he starts like haltingly, and then he just starts playing some... twenty questions with magic behind it. Yes. It's it's essentially giving the uh, shape of the person for the polymorphic yeah. stuff to latch onto. So it's basically this him, a cage with a changeling in, 
and then a duck. <laughs> and it, it's kind of like you can after a while you can kind of see it's kind of like a flow almost. If you roll everyone roll me your eerie. Oh yeah, and I had to buy eerie too just because like so I, so, wouldn't so lose, much I wouldn't lose my son. Yeah. It's a pretty good eerie for not having a Gideon has no it. idea what's going on. Nah, I'm just looking outside. Why is there like why is the sun the, it suddenly get all dark outside? Why are the the clouds certainly all suddenly all Dark and stormy, and why is there lightning happening? Because it's mad science. Well, this is Victor Vaughn. So this is uh, Victor the Frank, so, you know. Yeah, it's it's, it's instantaneously mad science. science. Yes. So. Yeah, you kind of, like, those of you who've passed um, an aging gets almost an understanding of this. You can kind of see the kind of the flow of these words going through and as you watch kind of the um the, the changeling starts screaming and rattling around and it just goes quiet and as it goes on you just see it kind of turn more from living wood to dried wood so you can just see it kind of aging up as it goes desiccating desiccating you know just drying out going from like a greeny brown through to that kind of pale grey that wood goes when it gets old is it seems like in like a special chair with a colander over his head? It is now, but it's in a jar. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> if it's in a if it's in a jar, does the jar have like diodes on it that link to a uh, that just links the duck on the, with a thing on the duck's head? Of course. We don't know what we don't know what electricity is. It's just that that you know strange bolty stuff in the sky, but still. Yeah. And then, you can, it almost seems like nothing happened to the duck to begin with, but after time, it will start to change. It's kind of odd to watch, and will probably freak you out quite a bit to begin with. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've seen it a hundred times already. This is extremely and fascinating. It's kind of like, ideas? it starts as a slow morphing, and just at some point, it's almost like a snap. No, I'm and, good. you know, there is a woman in the room. Naked? Yeah, unfortunately naked. So someone will, you will have an aide on side to run in with a um, kind of cloth, you know, sheet or something. Something to cover her modesty. Yeah, you kind of, you kind of expect this because you can't put clothes on a duck. You can, it just looks ridiculous. Well, if you, they will also and wouldn't. And also, if you fuck it up even slightly, that's going to be very uncomfortable and stuff. That yeah, we cool. don't want to go straight from mad science to surgery. That's never a good idea. <laughs> you, because you, it you always leads to mad surgery. Her, yeah, you return the Duchess to her form, and then immediately she dies because the, the cute little coat you put her in is right around her neck. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it becomes a choker, <sighs> literally a choker. <laughs> Or through, which would be much worse. <laughs> anyway. anyway, remember the teleportation song. Anyway. Alright, let's just check my images to make sure I have one. I have one named it, but I actually need to know what it actually is. Um, that's odd, it doesn't need to be here. Oh no, it's that's the talk. So, um, I'm not going to use him as much as I want to use Mimi Margolis. I'm not going to, it's not going to be the Infanta. Shit. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, there we go. At least, at least, that's a bit of a step up. At least yeah. he thought her of her was a much more pretty than she actually was. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know how much of that is actually kind of fed into this. Yeah, because he is basically rebuilding her from memory. And he does worship memory her, Memory so. from quite a few years ago as well. Yeah. And she will look confused. Does she start quacking? Uh, the first thing out of her mouth is a quack, yes. But then she, like, coughs. And then actually it could begin to talk. So, where, where am I? Who are you? It's, uh, 
to uh, <laughs> what was that say? You are in the presence of his good lorries, the king. What's your full title again, sir? <laughs> the, the worst hell. <laughs> you the you worst didn't write hell. it down. We won. Uh. His Majesty King Rogelio Sylvia the First Pendragon, Lord of Snake Fort and Malden, Regent of Kelmsford, Count Essex. What he said. <laughs> oh, oh, and she kind of like this one. It sounds like Sir Arthur. Is that you? And he kind of like pulls himself up and staggers, and kind of like falls down to his knees. You think you have aged like ten years. Um, it's like, yes, my 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 Duchess, it is. Um, it's like, how long you you're so old? How long have I been down? Gone. And it was just like, you know, not not that long. It's just the 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 quest to bring you back has been more more arduous than planned. And at this point, she'll turn to you. So, and I see, my lord, I believe I have you to thank for this. She's looking at the king. Yo, good nice. graces. The subjects of the king deserve the utmost respect, milady. Ah. And she kind of um, does a, a mine as much of the courtesy as she can. Um, I am Rosanna Stark, Duchess of. Um, I've forgotten. <laughs> she says this. <laughs> no. Duchess of Malden. Oh, Chelmsford, wasn't it? No, Duchess of Chelmsford. Chelmsford. That's all. I, I was getting the two confused, and I, confu I talked myself about it. Uh, and I will forever be in your debt. How, how fair is Chelmsford? Better than when you left. It's been, been, it's been. It has been liberated from the Henrys, so from the whole of the Henrys. It's currently within our, within our, uh, fiefdom. Aegis. Aegis, fiefdom, what's I the word there? More than a fiefdom at this point. Kingdom. No. We, but we don't, we have a king, but do we have a dumb is the question. That was bad and you should feel bad. You have a life. I believe that statement answers its own I question. Great. <sighs> Regardless, um, the two of you should probably rest. Yes, yes, of course. I'm very, very tired. Um, good, good aid. Would you make sure that you clear out go, when they go return to their abode? Do they clear out to the nest and bring in an actual bed, if you could? Oh, there's a bed in there. They just need to change the bedding. Oh, sure. And you know you'll need a couple of people to type carry um, Sir Arthur to his um his room as well. To recover. Yeah, you you can just tell by looking at him. Yeah, like Santa Stark. Oh, she's a Stark. Come yeah, here. but quite a lot of people are Starks around here. It's like Smith, right? Yeah. Most most of the the built-in nobility of England are, is a Stark of some form. She's hmm. the madness depends on how close you are to the bloodline. Uh, and in, given that they have a pretty well-known tendency to adopt, yeah. Did they like have a? Did they go full Habsburg? I have to ask. Some probably have. To be fair, ah, and um, they've the madness of the Starks is well known. So you probably you've probably got little places where everyone's a Stark. <laughs> but you know, what, it, it, varies, it varies from Stark to Stark. This is what happens when you roll lustful on every on uh, every part of your dynasty. <sighs> I've played that Crusader Kings game. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so a couple of weeks will pass without really much going on. Um. 
Uh, any way I can make amends to pay? Do it. Well, probably does as I already what we just did to them. So we have to go. Well, I don't you don't really even quite know how to contact the Fey. That's going aside to be... from yelling into the woods about how uh, they need to come and have a go. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping sure. they realize that you pulled one over on them and therefore at least respect you for it a little. That's really the best <laughs> you can hope for from this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, actually, they probably would realize that, oh, wow, he actually managed to defeat us. He's not one to be fucked. It yeah. depends how drunk and how petty they are at the moment. Well, the well, one who ah, specifically drunk. that you fooled is going to be angry with you. The rest of them will be laughing at that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just depends which one you've angered. It depends. How, it depends what Gray rolls on his um, his year end stuff. How bad is the winter? Uh, it's more. It's more. He's rolling that stuff. It's more the uh, like random events, like family member going missing. Just buy enough ranks in um, and listen that you can hear the barley. It will warn you if they're coming. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, <clears throat> All right. So we'll do this before we get onto the the fate on our part, my puns. But, you know. That is the most terrifying sentence I've heard of this camp. You said they aren't, or what? They are. Are. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, we're gonna get to them in a minute. I'm glad I have. I'm glad I have a master, a, a master die in fighting, or is it an egg die? I got seven dice and a master die in it, so. Yeah. I had to declare what number is before rolling, that's my main problem. I'm All sure right. you'll possibly be fine. So, after a mm -hmm. couple of weeks, the um, the Duchess will treat to speak with the King in the throne room, which, to be fair, isn't much of a throne room. You've basically taken over the town, what used to be the town hall. So it's yes, yeah. We've started fixing it up. Yeah, you've started fixing it up. We don't really have really, much. Just a stopgap until we take an actual cap. Yeah, you've kind of taken. You you've taken quite a few like walled cities, or at least palisaded cities, but you haven't actually taken a proper castle yet. But the problem with castles, they have a lot of people in them, and they're kind of made to be to stop people from walking in the front door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you've taken. Like Mott and Bailey castles, but I'm assuming you don't really see those as much of a um, a point to take. They're no, they're more they're they're more fortifications, and for people to deal with bandits and ne'er do wells. They're, ca they're castles. They're not palaces. Yeah. Uh, so, what does she um, want? So, my lord, I wish to speak to you about. Well, my situation here. Mm. Um, I'm not sure where I stand. If you have claimed my my lands, and I would wish to know how we are going to move from that day of my lands. But of course, I will well, not stand against the king. Well, the thing is, didn't we just claim regency over it? Yes. And basically, we did this as a favor to the knight. I mean, they're still yours, and we were holding them in your name, so... That's good, good to hear. You know, I would not like to lose my family legacy true to, you know, magic and witchcraft. <coughs> I mean, we're not thieves. We don't just take land. We just take what's not ours. Except, not without you know, conquering it. <laughs> yes. Not without proper legal cosplay that we you know, spend a couple of years uh, forging the documents for by a <laughs> there's, there's no need for forgery. You are the true ki and rightful king of England by virtue of the sword Excalibur. Oh, shit, However, that's it's much more fun to do things that. that. Yeah, the moment you say Excalibur, you know, th there'll be, like, a twitch. Oh, yeah, it wasn't, like, that a big, like... <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Stark. Yes, what is kind of a big deal? Where does it stand in your family? Didn't they not once wield the Excalibur themselves? Um, 
I am. And Relio's head is in his hands. I don't I... know anything about Excalibur. Yes, you do. I I mean I know about the thing might might because my king has it. Not that I know anything. I'm I'm you know Spanish. You you have a scalper. Have a what? You you have a scalper. Yes, he does. You have to show my. You have to sell them, the king. Only to shove it through your sternum. How would that you would... not notice when he's car when he's carrying it around on his uh, on his hip all day? Well, it's in it. In a sheath, it's probably yeah. You, know, you haven't really had much contact because she's been like oh, well. healing up. Uh, the, the... And also, yeah, she hasn't exactly been around. True. And it's the only way to keep the sh the sword, get the shore of the set up. Yeah, very true. And I've kind of got at least one war to start planning here, so I probably wasn't making a house visit. This Excalibur has been lost for centuries. Well, we got it. <laughs> we found it in a, in some woods. I I don't mean and a skeleton. To sound, I don't I don't mean to sound um Actually, untoward, but you weren't looking very hard, were you? <laughs> um, I mean, the sword might just not want to have been found. Clearly, it sought a new owner. Magic things do this all the time. That was, that was the rumor. Uh, but yeah, no one, no one ever really took it that seriously. That Excalibur didn't want to be found, or that Excalibur was in a was in a wood. Um, well, that it didn't want to be found. I mean, the rumor that it was like cursed and buried in someone's body. Yeah. Just it was that a rumor. All I mean, I can yeah. say for certain is that I found it in the rib cage of a skeleton, and it has not given me a quiet night since. Sword laughs at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you shut up. <laughs> I, no one I else heard that. Now you're talking to an inanimate um, object. Clearly um, cursed. What, what is the what is the duck's name again? The Duchess. The Duchess. The duck Duchess Lysena Stark. Lysena Stark? Yeah. Okay. Um, Miss Stark, uh, I have to ask, there was a certain phenomenon a couple of, what, years back then been now? Where, um, certain objects of authority started accrue, uh, started, um, basically pushing forth, uh, a demand of ownership on people, where anyone was, any, anything had a segment of, uh, like the chains of office or everything, anything that was a, a symbol of authority was essentially calling out for a new, for a new mat, for a master. Did y'all experience this, or was that just localized this phenomenon? Well, she was a duck at the be time. Be more hick. I am a. What are you talking about? I've been only here for like a year or two. I have to say, she was a duck at the time. Is such a fantastic line to be said in perfect <laughs> that's, that's seriousness. That's why I said it in Sato voice and aside. <laughs> the, the best part is yes, it's, yes. it's probably true. It was yeah, true. She... He found the uh, the knight found us less than a week later. Yeah. Oh shit! Really? I guess when I was like. Yeah. No, you, you years, turned up so. quite early on. Huh. I, I just, yeah. I just to be fair, we did do we so, did do what we told that we would. Yeah. Yep. It's taken you a few years, but you know he was accepting of that. And it took Man, him a few years after. Yeah. Oh, so she was a duck at the time. Okay, that I do apologize. I didn't mean to like bring down upon your uh, mal uh, your purpose ma malady. So basically, what we have here is one guy asking in a very uncouth manner if she went crazy, and then the guy next to him going, "She was a duck at the time, so I don't think." It. <laughs> I'm not saying if she went crazy. I mean. <clears throat> Clearly, she has her own um, uh, me, uh, object of office, right? Mm. Did she have a no, crown I'm not or something? Actually, that up on the accoutrements of nobility, so I um, don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure what the Duchess, uh, Duke and Duchess, have. 
Uh, I mean, they don't have. They, do they have like localized? It'd be a, car- it'd be a coronet or something like that. Yeah. Because like, I thought that was the whole basis of the uh, what was de- we were dealing with that brought the sword what brought us to the sword was. Yes, coronet. God damn it! I can remember that. It's a bit sad. <laughs> You're a nerd. You're an English nerd. Of course, yeah. you'll so it. A coronet looks like a crown, but isn't actually called a crown. It's is clearly it, not to anyone. Is it this way? It's called a coronet. It's a crownet. Yeah. Tiny crown, not big crown. <laughs> anyway. By one a crown. A coronet differs from a crown, and that a coronet never has. Arches and from a tiara, and that the coronet completely encircles it. Oh, because the tiara doesn't fully circle the head? Nope. Right. By a slightly different definition, a crown is worn by an emperor, empress, king, or queen, a coronet by a nobleman or. Ah, so. In other words, it's not a crown because a king isn't wearing it. Yeah. Like, here's a question. Crowns are have arches and all that kind of stuff. What's the kind of the crown with the fluffy stuff on top? That's a crown. Just a crown. Comfortable. Uh, okay. <laughs> Actually, Comfortable. that's a crown or a coronet. Again, it depends on who's wearing it. Yeah. Hmm. Which, that's anyway. the only difference is that if you, think, if, you took, if you you could wear the same thing and just call yourself a king, then it'd become a crown. I'm I'm just listening to them all talking about what uh, the difference between a crown and a coronet is, and I'm just uh, sitting there, kind of face attached to hand. I mean, yeah, yeah. so am I having to explain this to people, <laughs> but I'm doing it in a much more. I do you apologize? I only just became a noble, like about what? About three, eight, nine, ten months ago? I didn't know these things. <laughs> Anyway, she will continue after after a time. Um, so, um, I, this is something difficult to uh, ask, but I need to secure my line of succession. Um, hmm. As has been explained to me, I am the sole remaining member of my branch of the family. And mm-hmm. as a you know a lady, there is a kind of expectation that I will marry. Subtle hint drops. Uh, I think she's asking to marry you, Rogue. <clears throat> Yes, I realize that. <laughs> you might be able to drop her off from one of the lesser known women. Do you have any lesser noblemen? Yeah, uh, there's been, only, only two of them aren't married. <laughs> he, he hasn't nobled any of us. That would take like that would yep. take like I've been, uh, You do realize that I've been a noble this entire time, right? Yes. Not yeah. that we know. Unless you want to, unless you want to press your claims now. <laughs> what are your claims? Um, pressing my claim would be going down to Dorset right now. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, especially since it's right between Cornwall and the Crusades, so it's a place that I do want to go to later, but not yet. Where is that at? Let me go. Can you get the map uh, out, good sir? It's right between Cornwall and the Crusade. Uh, yeah. yeah. Remember where we were in Pendragon, Dorset, and south of Somerset. Start, start in Salisbury, in Pendragon. Well, here's the thing. Okay, that's it's pretty far. Wild. That's pretty far away from where we're at. To as much as I would love to, like stick my stick ourselves between Cornwall and the Crusades. Anyway, so she's looking to get married. Yeah. You are already married. I I know. I love my wife. I'm not going to crusade her king's my wife, damn you. And we literally <laughs> just used your son, or son, daughter, one of the two, as know. bait to make this woman actually be able to 
ask for this. So yeah, you, you're not on the. I'm not on the. Oh, good sir, you. I do not know what you're implying. I was implying. It was a son, actually. Cecil Umerlat Armstrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, because we couldn't decide how to pronounce it. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, the Armstrong family line. That boy will know how to flex one day. Probably. It's true. Right. So she's still, like, dropping hints. Marriage, you know, going the line. Protection. She knows she can't just, like, take Chelmsford and disappear. She has to remember you're under your protection. <laughs> yeah, because after all, A, we saved her, and B, they weren't really doing so hot before we saved her. And the no. Henrys are still out there. The Henrys are still out there. Now, granted, that is a problem we are actively trying to solve for different reasons. <laughs> They're jerks. So, I mean, this is up to you, good, my good king. You're the one who has authority over no ne measures of nobility. I mean, uh, I mean, we, here's the thing: what we can do. I mean, we can go find a uh, another place to conquer and see if they have any other attacks. Uh, or we could just have her get married to Arthur. See, well, the thing with that is, unfortunately, Arthur has a has a previous flame. I think, and also is kind of probably a bit too old to secure the line. Are you old or are you? What? How old Arthur's is Arthur? Knight, her knight. Oh, her knight, yeah, no. yeah, well, no, her I'm knight. Arthur, then. I'm sorry. He's well past that. We don't even have an Arthur right now, aside from no, him. There is no Arthur in our group. No, I thought you were Arthur. I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> wow. I mean, James some days right I am, screen. but that's the sword. <laughs> uh, and of course, blame it on the sword. <clears throat> Regulio, I'm sorry, good sir. I thought you were, I thought you took the name Arthur once upon a time. No, that's not his right name. No, oh, yeah, he has pen, no, it's Pendragon, I'm sorry. Anyway. You've been getting at my wine again. Let's just... So, no, prospects. But... We've got uh, only we've got the, basically Gideon, the two of us. And we've got Adrian. And yourself. I suppose, yes. The king has spoken. I mean, you gotta realize that he's still kind of holding the, holding the torch for his old girlfriend who is technically on the island. Which, which girl won this one? She's, She's with the one crusade. of the leaders of the crusades, or at least her husband. Ah. Okay. I mean, we can take it on board, and we can, um, you know, say we'll, we'll, we'll be looking into it. I mean, we're obviously it. not just going to say, okay, you're marrying this person, like, right now. I mean, I can I mean, That's I can how it's it. done. Can I ask her a question? Was no, there anyone not. Was there anyone you fancied before you became, uh, before your malady? Your malady? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to slap him for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Mallard D. Hang on, I'm whipping up a good that's one. Another shoe. title. Yeah. Four nines. I slap him for eight. I deserve that. I hand you a pair of court jester shoes. They have bells on and are brightly colored. Ooh. If you're going to be a fool, you may as well dress the part. Can you make a hat, though, is a question? You can probably... Roll couple what's your head of, size uh, in shoe? What's your head in shoe sizes? <laughs> <clears throat> That's actually a pretty damn good hat. <laughs> I'll take the four nines again for speed. Yeah, it looks like a boot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 googling the Discord character. <laughs> We're talking. You're talking about uh, the the King of Langford, or what was this called again? The uh, Lon Longcra. 
Uh, no, there's a Discworld beggar, wasn't there? Oh, uh, you mean, uh, the, we call Oh, it the, the King of Beggars? No, the, the one with the boots. There's one with a boot on his head. Mr. Shu. Sure. Yeah, Mr. Shu. I'd forgotten about him completely until you, men until you mentioned the, that he had a uh, boot on his head. Yeah. I can't find any images. I mean, boots are just well-seasoned leather. <sighs> anyway. <clears throat> when was there anyone she was there anyone she fancied, fancied when she gained um, her affliction? Yes, but they're all dead. Yes, they are? everyone she knows it was turned into a duck and then eaten by the Henrys. I mean, even in the even from people from different counties. I'm reminding you of this because it's been like what eight months since that happened or something. I'm sure she was like a, someone that there was a you know a different county person. Uh, yeah, no, there's no one she would consider like suitable. Okay. So it has to be within. So it's no, no, we can't go kidnap somebody. She's, she's trying to forge an alliance with you guys. Marrying her outside of that doesn't really help. Unless you want to charm her. We, we were going to conquer. We were going to conquer that place first, and then get the match. So technically, it would be within our fiefdom. What are you even talking about? I don't know. I, I don't, don't know what he's know. talking about. Uh, there was like he's any... taking his new shoes to heart. No, I was saying, like, she's in Kelmsford. Was there anyone, like, in Hertford or, like, Gunnan that you liked and that we could go over there, conquer that, and then marry her off to the first one? <laughs> <laughs> that is a terrible idea. Hey! Discard, I think you need to stop playing so much Crusader Kings. <laughs> <laughs> that is top tier Crusader Kings. <laughs> Okay, I need to marry someone off. I'm gonna keep conquering countries till I have enough vassals. No. <laughs> <clears throat> no, Crusader King, you literally can, you you have a Rolodex of every person on the planet of a certain <laughs> nobility rank. Uh, yes, you have a spy network. I'm working I'm, on it. I'm just an gonna to date spy network. Anyway, so and, no, and then there's, no. So basically, there's between the three of us, and uh, we don't have any other nobility right now. No. I mean, we have whatever we can cobble together from the. Uh... Oh, actually, no, that wouldn't work because none of them would go. I mean, the barbarian. There, there are the bar. There are the. Uh... That's who I'm talking about. Ipswich, yeah. Yeah, I doubt it. You could probably make it a bit noble <clears throat> if you wanted to. Yeah, the thing is, the only person there who actually bought into the whole, oh, we're actually part of the kingdom now, is the leader. Yeah. I mean, we could do, as like... As far as everyone else is concerned, they're still a completely separate entity that has no real allegiance to us beyond the coin. What was that weird MTV show we had that once upon a time where a bug people would, like, like parade a bunch of, like, opposite gendered people before a lady... To pick out which one was her type, it's like something. I have no fucking clue. Something to do with Bing Greg. I don't even know. And uh, right, that also sounds like a terrible idea. Very. We're not I mean, going to be throwing a fucking pageant for her. I mean, <clears throat> whoever whoever catches her eye and wins her uh, wins her affection gets a no gets a noble title. That's. How it goes. Can we just... She's trying I mean, to it's... marry one of us. Yes, I felt like one of you guys are stepping up for the, stepping up to the plate. Not doing your doing your, your you know, local duty. I'm the only person that was pretty cool on getting on board with getting married. I only got with <laughs> a knight, knight was a... Uh, the, my, my lady was a uh, knight's uh, daughter, so... Well, I mean, let's look at it this way. I've still got an old flame that I'm concerned about. Gideon is more than a hundred years old and probably not exactly in the market, so that leaves Adrian. Adrian has no problem with this. However, yeah, he's, I'm, 
technically a par in the market because my wife's, you know, a couple hundred years dead, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's on a the spry, market. spry guy. Look, do you want to have a show you know off to decide sure, this? Sure, I'll do it. All right. Adrian has no complaints. He just hasn't had a time to put a word in edgewise and would rather not <laughs> um, say anything while the lady is standing in front of him. I mean, so if you're, if is you're, she now the Duchess of Chelmsford and Dorset? I wasn't the Duke of Dorset. I was actually one of the, uh... I held a manor there, but, uh... Remember that I was only a knight for a long time. It's a claim, but it's a weak claim. Oh no, it's a pretty freaking strong claim, considering that that's our ancestral land. It's just been in uh, other people's hands for the okay, last... So is the Duchess of Chelmsford and the Baroness of Dorset. It was a Baroness of... Man, I can't even remember what the place was, but I really built the place up, so... <laughs> it's probably one of the better places to live there now. Well, assuming it survived. Assuming. It was one of the better places to we, live. We have no idea what Gideon's been doing for the last... Yeah. He was off the island. He off the island, so yeah. The island... He... The island kind of caught fire for a while, so he was on a he was on an island off the island of England. Nah, I was in uh, I was in the mainland for a long time because everything went to hell, and I was trying to let it cool down. So, if we ever play the Paladin campaign, we pl you can play Gideon again there. <laughs> nah, yeah. Gideon's gonna. <clears throat> uh, I was gonna say Gideon's gonna be an NPC character that's doing awesome shit in the background. That's right. Uh, that's right. <laughs> So wait, is Gideon just gonna be Roland? Um, is that just gonna be one of the uh, identities that he's taken over the? <laughs> Possibly. Anyway, so who's stepping up again, marrying lady? I am. Um... Okay. All well, right. Well, go, go forth and woo her. It doesn't take much wooing. She's supposed to be an, an <sighs> evil. She is kind oh. of. It was her idea. I don't yeah. think she. Doink. Gideon, what's your flex game going? How's your flex game today? My flex? Yeah. Can you, can you flex with. <laughs> what am I supposed to roll? Vigor? I mean, vigor, uh, athletic. No, 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 no. Vigor comes later. <laughs> <laughs> she is over 100 years old, after all. Um, they, just, they just mean it's well toned. None of us know that. Well, I could do Spear 7. Uh, well, go ahead and work, show her shaft work, then. <laughs> that is horrible. Yeah, anyway. We are terrible so bad people, I and I would around. like to apologize to the audience. There's a reason why you keep me around. I can say these things without... <laughs> yes, without we haven't figured it out yet. The reason we keep you around is because we couldn't play this if you weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Harsh but true. Harsh but true. <laughs> right, so now I'm the Duke of Chelmsford. Yep, you are now the Duke of Chelmsford. Technically, it was matrilineal. Technically, so you are the regent? No, the consort of Chelmsford? Yeah, yeah he's Meh. the Duke Consort. Yeah. Your kid will be the. Your son will be Duke of Con uh, Chelmsford. Our, da our Duke Or daughter, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so that's one Duke in the family. Yeah. Living up in the world again. Oy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Time to move on. Well, it categorically cannot go worse than last time. You say that, but none of us died. How are we going to expand oh, our territory? I was Harry? talking about the last time I made someone to do. Oh, well, that, right. Well, that was the last time you made someone the Duke. I made you go kick a tree so we could steal a changeling. I mean, <laughs> that was yeah, anyway, we need to go to Anglia and uh, catch up there, I guess. I mean, it's not like it wasn't my own fault, my own idea as well. So, yeah. where are we going to expand? Are we going to Hertford or Anglia? Well, that depends. Do we want to get closer to the Henrys, or do we want to maybe tap an as-yet-untapped I mean, market? 
Honestly, think... taking Anglia over would be the best because it's basically just more coastline and uh, puts us next to the Starks. It's, for some reason, we have a lot of arrows pointing at Buckingham, and I want to know what's going on. I'm pretty Someone sure that was because the palace. Some... Yeah. No, that... Or castle, something you okay, like that. You okay, Oh? Nah, nothing. I just... We also need to like make some money back because of the Henrys was was shaking us down. Mm -hmm. I thought we made that back with the dwarves. I think you did, yeah. This is your current company. Ah, good. We did make it back. I had us a treasury one for some reason. Mm. Needs need to somehow get the treasury three. I mean, we could open up negotiations with the Crusade for trade. Well, we need to probably upgrade our own internal shoe-making market. <laughs> because we can only put out so much shoe... We can only put out so much volume of shoes. Well, I mean, the, the, cobble, the, cobbling, the cobbler apprentices are working overtime. So... Yeah, you, you've kind of cornered the market in shoes. Mm. You still yeah, have the best, best shot army in in history. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that That's... big a competition. The Romans didn't have any shoes at all. I mean, that's why we called them foot soldiers. Right. Ah, uh, the puns are strong. The army marches on its stomach, but... It also marches on its. So what you're saying is we should start farming. I mean, we need. Um, we probably need okay, more. How many cobbler rolls is that? Where you've gotten not only like two, two, three. three. Well, two this session. Yeah, three. You're right. No, the first one was tens. Look, you throw a lot of dice, you get a lot of high numbers. There, four nines. Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> we have so many good footwear. We have... We so have much shoes. good footwear. Yes. These boots go halfway up the torso. The best, thing, <laughs> the best part is, it's not... They're not quite perfect. Because it's only nines instead of tens. But you're putting them out... At a rate considerable. Yes. You have yet you know, to don't yet surrender on the site of our well shot armies. <laughs> yet. <laughs> I'm just saying. Even our horses wear shoes. <laughs> I'm just saying that we probably. We, the thing is, we have the skill. We probably are lacking the um, ma raw materials. We need more. We need more shoes. Clearly we need more not more. lacking the raw materials because we're putting out so many. You no, know, these, you know, these, you know, these shoes right here are bespoke shoes. We need to have our our, our mass market shoes. <clears throat> mass production hasn't been invented yet. Everything is bespoke. Anyway, mm. so what are we gonna do next? I'm that saying Buckingham. Good. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, you begin to Buckingham? march north. Buckingham, Norwich, and Yarmouth would oh, be the best. I think they're Buckingham, not Buckingham. Buckingham, Norwich, and Yarmouth. I'm, uh, it's just amazing how you manage to And mouth just makes me think Dunwich Order, which, uh, you know. Do, 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 do you board want deep ones? Because that, that's how you get deep ones. You know, I'm just um, saying this is that we've kind of run into very few Cthulhu's re uh, as of recently. Yeah, that's okay. And well, that's a good thing. Very. Yeah, that is a very good thing. And also, we haven't really started a war with any of the Cthulhuites yet. Yeah. So. I mean, we haven't really ran into very many Cthulhu eyes. I thought this was this this place was baking and fucking um. We'll find well, well, energy cool. to last. Nick, calm down a bit. That's why I'm back in town. Okay. I'm sure most of them are busy dealing with the crusade. I mean, the biggest and like being the giants. Eldritch worshippers were kind of on the Isle of Man, which is now a crater. So, which is now the uh, Sea of Man. Mm, no, it's the crater of man. Oh, okay, that's yeah. right the archipelago of man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the first gunpowder explosion that was ever seen from space. 
<laughs> Tax I wonder who saw it. There to see it. Probably the Mika. The star guys are all looking down upon us. Right. Speaking of the Migo, we haven't seen Migos in a long ass time, too. That's also Migos? a good thing. We drowned them. We drowned the Migos? Yes. Oh, okay. It was a busy yeah. start campaign. <laughs> so many good things happened. I'm, I'm in so. Defense, in our defense, they were trying to drown us first, we just did it better. <laughs> I'm just sad that I missed out on that campaign. I had to go move. Alright. Alright, so, so you head to, towards Buckingham. Yep. Why is it pronounced Buckingham, but it's spelled Buckingham? I don't know. It's angle. Also, it's also it's noticed it's the angle. palace is nowhere near it. So I mean, there's, there's a lot of buildings that are named after places that are nowhere near the building. Yeah. It's just what I was saying, so yeah. Is this what they've always called it? Yep. Alright, so. This is going to be another one of those. Um, who are you taking north is the next question. You've got your army. You could call on the. Um, what do you call it? The. Uh, the, the, the the barbarian horde? The barbarians, those are the guys, yeah. I mean, we gotta see what the lay of the land for Buckingham first, so we'll have our people stationed out out of, uh. You know. How about this? We'll take a trade mission. Just oh, a trade start. mission? Pack, pack your greatest shoes, guys. <sighs> like, we'll, we'll take guards, we'll take, you know, probably a small contingent of troops just in case there's something out there that we might need to fight our way away from, but we're not gonna just roll in with our whole army to fight them. I'll take my guns. I'll take my guns along. They're both right here. Of guns? Yeah, know? right here. Boom, boom. Oh, those guns. I was about to say there are guns available because we have access to dwarves and pistols <laughs> and probably flintlocks. Why, well, yes, pistols and flintlocks are indeed guns. Congratulations, you. I'm got talking. That. I'm talking about like the variation of guns. There's also the Arbiquest that's around right now. Large. The Archibus? Archibus, yeah. Not for a good few centuries. Really? Not yet. It's only eleven hundred. Ah, uh, okay. Not we're not we haven't we haven't hit Renaissance times though. <laughs> no, not even no. close. Also, that's a German gun. I mean we are well, in the Europe. German. I mean, isn't that what dwarves are? Just tiny Germans? Oh, apparently a musket is just a heavy arquebus. Mm -hmm. huh. For some reason, I didn't know that. And a rifle is an arquebus with rifles. <clears throat> yeah, we're about two centuries early for that. Not counting the dwarves. God damn, Miga, putting these putting these thoughts in my head. <laughs> anyway, huh. know, let's head to Buckingham. And uh, tell them that they're now under our command. Maybe they'll actually put up a fight this time. Have ourselves a small skirmish encounter. Why do you want to fight? I haven't rolled for a chance to climb up a castle wall. All right. Yeah. Um. So, Buckingham is not, you know, a big town. Well, it's, it's a major town, but you know, it's. Nothing bigger than anything else you've seen it's in the area. It's a major town, but it's also the 1100. Yeah. So it's like, you know, a couple of thousand <clears> people, <throat> probably. It has um, a wall. It's just a wall, which is maybe more of a palisade than an actual wall, but yeah. It's fine. Um, and there will be, of course, some forces in the in the field, as you can see. They've heard of the barbarians. They've heard the fate. It's just not a very safe time. So they've got some troops out, but not masses. Mhm. Mm um, who who are you looking for? Are you just going to go in and start like training? 
something like going up the friggin' road and saying, hey, uh, who's in charge here? Eh, wrong! <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm not here to just outright conquer them with force. I mean, like, it could just be the. We could. Maybe it's like being read, led by a major merchant family. Who knows? It could just be like Buckingham's, like, one major Walmart type deal. For some reason, I doubt it. It's not on a river, it's not on that major a trade route. I mean, it's between the it's between the ocean and the. Uh, Literally, and the only place the road goes is to Norwich. Yeah. Norwich and Ipswich, Norwich. one of which we hold. Hmm. Speaking of which, I'm kind of want a sandwich. Sorry, that that, that's good. that's not going to be invented for at least another four hundred years. Yeah, I don't know yeah. why we'd have a uh, salad between bread with named after a river. The thing is, we don't have the thing is we don't have a, a enough bread to make the sandwich possible. I'm pretty sure that we've grown some wheat. We've grown wheat, yeah, but the process of making bread hasn't been uh, stand, super standardized. Like bread still yeah, like a delicacy. Of making bread standardized today? Yeah. Did you have a? No. Yeah. At least. Yeah. All right. So. You're just heading into the um, the market? Mm-hmm. Yeah. With our wagons full of goods. Shoes. Shoes. <laughs> shoes, hot shoes. Get your best shoes here. We've also yeah, got he... some socks and probably some smaller shoe-like implements. I mean, it's, it's it keep your feet nice and clean on these, you know, horse-covered uh, streets. Get your shoes here, won't have to step in poop anymore. Well, you will, but you won't get ringworm from it. Yep. <laughs> we got orthopedic doctor no, don't. shoes. Don't, don't lie to these poor people. What's an orthopedic? It hasn't been invented yet. You still tell me what it means, though. I don't know, but I know it hasn't been invented yet. Mm, true. We're not rolling yeah. tens here, after all. Yeah. You say you did in the last few set of shoes. That yeah. was a hat. That was a hat. You rolled tens with the hat. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a jinkly boy hat. And the one for some reason I'm now forced to wear whenever I go into the, go into the courtroom. Okay. Stop making a fool of yourself, fool. Hat. Eventually, he's just going to be covered in shoe-shaped articles of cloth. So, there's a reason why they're all pointed, so they can have bells on the end. Yeah, so everyone knows you're coming. I am the. If I was a jester, I would be the swollest jester. Anyway, so you set up in the um, in the marketplace. Start selling shoes. <clears throat> are we going to be met by guards that are going to want to see our, our market permit? Uh, no, it's not. Market permits aren't such a thing. So, what are you trying to get out of this? Basically, just, just get a feel of how things are. Scrutinize, that would be, I guess. Somehow, I don't have that yet. I Can have I it, but I can't roll very well. <clears throat> I have two That's dice in that. Sense based, right? Yeah. Sense, scrutinize, yeah? Or yeah. whatever. Scrutiny. But... I'm going to roll command. Can we roll inspire just so I can hype our shoes up? I'm apparently not great at getting deals on these shoes, though. No, no. You'll, you'll let I am, go for a song. I am barking them out, though. Holy I am very <laughs> <for> haggle. <clears throat> I, on the other hand, just kind of walk up go, no, 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 you're, you're looking at this wrong. You see, the soul, the inseam of the soul here is it, and then just... Yeah. I think I just realized why I'm not selling very well, because I'm just staring at this and thinking, holy shit, I am bad at... <laughs> All of my life, I have been taught how to sell, and I have been completely destroyed by this. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
So, I think I figured. I think I did a pretty good haggle there. <laughs> yes, you. Suddenly, you make a fair bit of money for this. Shoes are the only thing anyone wants to buy, and all of the fruit sellers are very angry. Yeah, because everyone seems to be wearing like sandals and stuff like that, and the idea is like actually properly <clears throat> made shoes that don't hurt, don't dig in, actually and have don't to... get dirt and rock underneath the feet. You have more than one size. Yeah, and yeah. they're left and right. Oh, that's revolutionary. That's <laughs> why we keep rolling in nines and tens. Yeah. You've revolutionized the footwear industry of England. <laughs> you mean pioneerized the revolution uh, the the footwear industry of England? Pioneerized uh, the revolution. What? There's been plenty of British revolutions. Not yet. One. But how long has the British been wearing footwear? Sandals and stuff like that for a while. <clears throat> anyway, that's more, that's more Romanized. Anyway, we've gotten uh, we've started selling shoes. Yep. Uh, as you watch around, at least you know Adrian manages to keep an eye on what's going on. Yep. You notice that the place isn't doing great. Um, you know, trading is kind of down. Aside from us, apparently. Yeah, apart from you. But you're offering something they haven't been able to get for a while. A lot of people here with cold feet. <coughs> Very, especially this far north. Cold feet, sore feet, generally diseased feet. Yeah. And the next thing we're going to have to invent are socks. But we need more wool for socks. Yeah. Unfortunately, Wales and... is on the other side of the, the island. Yeah, I was about to say, either Wales or Scotland, yeah. Both of which are far away and occupied. Yeah, we can't really get to Scotland. Well, we can just... We are Don't trading we have a trade with the dwarves. mission with the dwarves? Can um, we get Scotland to ship us some sheep? Wool was actually one of England's main exports. Mm -hmm. Just generally. <clears throat> So you okay, have a lot of... is it one of Essex's main exports? Though? Possibly not. I mean, we can just get. Some I don't think they actually quantified get... at that point. We just we know how much wool we sent out, but we don't know how much wool, yeah, you know, actually where where yeah. So it might have been the Welsh just being quite covered in sheep, and then everyone else just doing nothing. But we don't know. We specialize in sheep. Sheep-based items and sheep-based meat products. Sheep were essentially sheep their main. And sheep accessories. Propane and propane accessories. Yeah. So, but yeah, do you get the idea that the place is struggling? There's a bit of discontent. There's a fair bit amount of worry because there's this like gang of mad, gang of madmen at the south. Who are expanding rapidly? A gang of eight madmen to the west who are extend expanding mass rapidly, and then deep ones in the northeast. What? Oh, hold the fuck up! What now? Deep ones in the northeast. Okay, we're gonna have to burn Yarmouth. I mean, deep ones are really good. We're having we're having a gold on hand. Those two words mm. don't need to be in the same sentence together. Oh, I mean, so, gold on thin. I guess we're going to have a nice, we'll a nice actually, fight there. We'll actually be able to put forth our thing. So, I mean, do you want to go make ourselves known to the local uh, constabulary and like offer them a, a choice of join us or and we'll fight the deep ones? Yeah, as a representative of the local barbarian hordes, I mean. Hi, I'm King Rahelio the First. I fix shit like this. We have this. We have this pyramid scheme called feudalism. <laughs> <laughs> Only one that worked. <laughs> wow. Hey, what? If you look at it, it is a pyramid. I know. Anyway, so uh, is that what we're actually going with? I mean, that's what we're, we're fighting over, and we are the barbarian. Remember, we are the barbarians from the south. Well, technically, no, we're not. 
we're, we're half the barbarians from the south. We are representative <laughs> of and have them within our own. Uh, you you have the barbarians from the south. We've collared them and made them so that they won't be raiding you anymore. Now, if you want us to continue having them raid you, we can. We are not threatening them. Why not? Because, like, because people who we get... didn't bring enough soldiers to actually knock the place over. When's that stopped you before? <laughs> I have to say this. I have this. I have this strange thought in my head, and I'll. I was like, since we're so good at shoes, and we sell a lot of shoes, I wonder if we could ever poison someone by their feet. Yes. <laughs> yes. Contact there are several thing. contact poisons, and just spikes it, in the shoes. It would take kind of a while, though. That's fine. Slow is good. Oh, that's what orthopedic <clears throat> means. Orthopedic. Sure. Is orthopedic now the word for murdering someone with a poison shoe? <laughs> <laughs> are we going to have to rewrite the dictionary for this timeline? <laughs> I mean, well, we don't like It's that. actually kind of weird what orthopedic oh. does actually mean. I mean, uh, you know, that's that, that's an idea for the future when we want to, you know, pull up. If we that. hit that point, I think we've got bigger problems. Meh. If we're seriously like... considering murdering someone with our shoes, <laughs> we're, I like... think we... <laughs> we're more likely to uh, attach them to our weapons and beat them to death with them. <laughs> so, so we basically would pioneer the shoehorn. Uh, no. Anyway. The branch of medicine dealing with co the correction of deformity or bones or muscles. So yeah, orthopedic shoes is basically shoes for deformed feet. Huh. Well, not just deformed feet. It's also, like, posture. Yeah, I mean, but, it's not, but it's like, you know, how um, braces are orthopedic because they straighten your teeth. They are orthodontic. Anyway, but that's, that, being that, that's the information you get. What's your plans? You actually gotta go up to the local duke. Is this duke also a duck? I mean, we should probably no. actually, you know, make sure Oops. where we're going first. So yeah, probably go to the duke and ask what the problem is. Alright. Besides the obvious. The duke of Buckingham will meet you. Please re-spell your name. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to use this. Are you going to make that a condition? Do you have a picture of, your, of a Buckingham Duke? Yes, I'm going to go with the, the most ridiculous one I know. Mm. Oh dear. Can I, ask a, can I ask a dumb question? Did Brian Blessed ever get a peerage? No. Not sure. Hmm. All right, make me do this of, the hard way. There was a lot of dumb peerages. Uh, uh, yeah, he's OB. Okay. And get that in the right folder. I have too many. F I can't rename the folders. So I have a load of folders of image on. Which is where I find them. Why do you have a bunch of images involved with images of that? Because I hot link the um, the quick access the the image file so I can get to it, but I can't rename it. So every one has to be called image for the different campaigns. Ah, oh, that's the it's a fantasy ground problem. Well, yeah. Okay. All right, Buckingham. Oh my God. <laughs> that. Is oh, a good boy. <laughs> Solando Bloom. Okay, so is it so I the never boat. like it when he has facial hair. I don't know why. He looks his facial hair's not that bad. I d it it's not the facial hair itself, it's the facial hair on his face. It just doesn't work for me. Well, <laughs> I'm imposed. I is that he, he has a pretty? Uh, we're just we're just gonna admire this man and his <laughs> black leather and everything. I have to ask, where do you get your? Who is your tailor? 
oh god, we've met people who are just as good at, at making clothes as us who are making shoes. <laughs> Yeah, his master tailor's pretty good. Oh, I thought he was a master tailor. No, no, no he has a master no, no. tailor. <laughs> not no. being the, the, the master, not the master of a trade himself. For shame. Three Mus- the cyber- the steampunk Three Musketeers is a strange film, but Orlando Bloom is bugging him is actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. I just kind of he- wish they made the sequel because the bit where they're flying the air for ship Armada. Um, to attack France is, you know, it's set up for a sequel, but they never got made. What year would that come out? Ah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's this day, century. Well, it was the last century, right? Was Orlando Bloom really a big person? Twenty eleven. One of the century. Twenty eleven. Hmm. <laughs> Kind of sad. They never made a sequel to that. It was a terrible film. It was just I. I have got a, yes. a stupid soft spot for it. <laughs> it was bad. We, but it was we've fun. all got a film like that. Yeah. Some people can just Ev- enjoy everyone, films that are bad. Everyone is allowed exactly one shit film that they will go to bed. <laughs> that's that's the final sequence of the film. <laughs> I. Wow. Cool. I mean, I'll be honest, that looks a hell of a lot better than most actual naval battles. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yeah. so we have a fan of Bloom. He has airships and uh, as such. Yep. Yeah. No wonder he's got a deep one problem. He's gone, steam, he's gone steampunk. Yeah. Now this whole campaign's going steampunk, so I may as well use somebody who's got a bit of flair. Point. Are we really going steampunk? No. Mm, no. No. We're going um, mythos, aren't we, more than anything else? With a, a bit mm. of like weird tech, but yeah. Anyway. It, how are you going to get yourself introduced to the wonderful Lord of Buckingham? So, we hear you have a problem. We're well known for solving problems. Now, how are you even going to get into the room with him? Are you actually going to announce to the that, king? That's how I'm... That's how I'm talking to the guard. Uh, uh, who, who are you? No beggars. I'll pull Excalibur about halfway out. Um, several guards lower their spears at you. I will look at the sword and start shaking it, wondering why it isn't doing the thing. (laughs) (laughs) The sword suddenly remembers and the heavily choir choir starts. (laughs) Just, just, just enough to ruin your entrance. Yeah. Do you so, need to kickstart your sword? <laughs> <laughs> Pull the ripcord again, sire. You try turning it off and then turning it back on again. I heard there's a pill for that. Just bang it on the ground a few times. That normally sorts it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so, I'm sorry, good sir. It's he's not he's not doing it like this. He just he needs he needs a little bit of time to get revved up. It's just be cold outside. <laughs> oh, my God. You I mean, head. I hate the proper way where we send one of our minor nobility to say to uh, mention the true king wants an audience. Yes, I assume you've brought enough um, minions with your like um, your sh- exactly in your you car. <sighs> so why didn't we just bring a bunch of people with us? Because we were like didn't want to alarm them. And then you draw a sword right in front of them. A sword that usually demands respect. At least this time I didn't stab one of them. <laughs> well, they didn't ask who you were. 
what was his? What was the? What was I? What was the five d ten again? That's his clo um, four, four, five, That's his clover. Okay. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, five d ten was his clover. I thought yeah. like someone rolled something. No, that's that's me. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's got a bit by crossed. the way, it says GM next to. Him. I can I know, change but... that if you want. Mm. I thought like, okay. I made the assumption that the uh, our mate, our man here was rolling something. Yeah. Now, anyway, um, when the sword actually does kick in, you will of course be admitted into his august presence. And he's kind of he's sitting on a fancy throne in a fancy clothes. He's holding a a glass of wine, you know, between two fingers, with all the other fingers splayed out. Yeah, this is the epitome of class. Or pomp, in circumstance. Pomp. Pomp is probably the best way of saying it. Even his even his throne has black leather, has black velvet leather on it. Ah, civilization at last. I relax a little. This man could be considered almost half a French. I mean, he is Angle. I'm saying that his pomp level is almost half French. Alright. So, the King of England finally deigns to do it at my door. A sip of wine, drops glass on floor so it shatters. Oh shit, is he about to have at you? So, hey. what can I do for the, this fine day? You come to give up that fine sword and join a more elegant ruler. Although I have to say, I do like your shoes. Thank you. You like a pair? Oh, yes, of course. I heard someone selling shoes in the market. I was <laughs> thinking about going down later. Oh, no, 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 wait. Um, <laughs> catch things off. <laughs> we, we, we will have... Would you like them in black le in black leather with lace up? Did they come in any any other time? <laughs> Only for those with uh, inferior taste. Alright, um, but yes. So, what brings you to my door? Conquest, surrender. Can't be just the shoes. <laughs> Is it the shoes? <clears throat> they all got shoes. I mean, yes. We hear you have a little problem with the deep one. Oh, yes. Those guys. You know how it is. They come out the water, promise gold, and then next thing you know... You know, everyone's gone a bit shifty-eyed and, they're, you know, looking off in different directions. And fashion just goes out the window. <laughs> I am aghast. I know. Yes. I mean, you know, I used to get some of my best things from that port, but now they did, all they care about is gold and fish, gold and fish. And have you tried wearing gold? It's gaudy. It just doesn't go with anything. I mean, gold lace and trim, though, is, is by far most dandy. Gold, though, is a highlight, not a, not something you wear on every oh, part of oh, your yeah, body. Yeah, you need some Still gold, great. of course. You know, this thing is kind of sword hilt is golden. But, you know, you, you want to accent it with something. And, you know, those guys, their priest just wears a golden robe. Ooh. I know. That is an impressive feat of textile work, though. Tell me about it. Yes, I would like to know how they did that. Yeah, but... probably just rivets. Giant no, it's like golden cloth. Oh, hmm. gold, like gold leaf, you say? No, golden. I don't know. I have not actually been close enough to actually figure that out. But yeah, mm. um, oh, the cut though, the cut is so severe. It's just like they've they've got this amazing material that, and they've just done the worst, gaudiest, tacky job with it. It's just horrific. Of pure waste, I'm sure. Yes. They have to be stopped. And of course, the guys inside it aren't really accenting it. 
They. Oh, is, isn't it a shame to see good clothes worn on such horrible people? <sighs> it's like speedo licenses. What? <laughs> oh, speedo licenses. Yeah, they have mine. <laughs> <laughs> I really did not need to know that. <laughs> Truly, the king is wise. <laughs> oh, we're having one of those sessions. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that was great. Look, they, they 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 put a standard in for having us for, for wearing certain clothing at the beach, and then you have to qualify for certain for, over a certain muscle mass index. So, all right, you, you can know. take the hat off. Thank you. That was great. <laughs> um, but yes, the um. Yeah, the problem. So, yeah, the problem is that they, of course, want to keep expanding. Ah, who doesn't? Yeah, it seems to be going on all over the place. No one seems to be happy with their um, kind of their place in life. <coughs> it sounds almost they have items of authority that is demanding that they can't, they become the uh, ruler of all England. Yes. As if the land itself is crying out for someone to manage it. I wouldn't go that far, but yes. So, I have to ask, um, under what circumstances and or what uh, means would you wish to stay the, the ruler of Buckingham, but be a part of our little, uh, you know, py uh, our little pyramid? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, if you considered, like, joining... I'm, I mean, sure, but the thing is, is that you, with you in our group, you could up the class of, of the rest of the of the rest of this country by a significant degree. Oh, looking at you, that wouldn't be that hard. Well, yes. All I, my you, good sir. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like I'm gonna have to invent a new fashion just to get over this meeting. <laughs> my good <clears> sir, <throat> look at look upon this and look upon this. How can you say that that my clothes do not? These are my white clothes are truly for to contain this much muscle. <laughs> I should rip a sleeve just by flexing. <sighs> clothes are clothes make man makes the clothes, but the clothes also make the man. <sighs> I'm just gonna look around at everyone else in the room and like sort of with my eyes ask if they know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> now they're pretty much all dandies. The king is very wise. We can't always understand what he's saying because of his wisdom. <laughs> Clearly. The king hasn't said shit. The, the king's shit. last words were asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and that was to the sword. <laughs> this is true. <sighs> I'm really I'm just wondering why we gave him a uh, uh, county, was it? I have a county. Yeah, a county. Because we needed someone to get on the phase nerves, and I sure as hell wasn't going to kick a tr Good point. <laughs> uh, just merely hope the king does not revoke my title for being a... You know, anyway. I hadn't thought about it, but I do technically have that authority down. Uh, well, nope, now it's on the table. No, nope, you haven't got to that point. You haven't got to the point from the council yet. You still have to. Er, you still have to get the ability to the full on revoke titles in the uh, in the council menu. Ah, oh, damn it! I used this decades on getting rid of fucking gavel. <laughs> <laughs> Which was a good move. There is that. Mm -hmm. Alright. So. Um. Sorry, just one second. Before I lose that. Do uh. you wish to give the man a pitch to see if he wishes to join our merry band? Boy. 
I mean, that was all on you. I mean, were you, were you asking me to speak speak for you on this matter? I was merely asking you're him the not, question. You're not really speaking for me, so... <laughs> I'm not sure what the hell's going on. <clears throat> yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um... So, I mean, yes, you solving this little insidious fashion problem um, with go a long way to get me in your good books but you know I am lord of these lands and I have to know that you know you are going to be a wise and just king so what what would you be offering, willing to offer That's a good question. What are we willing to offer for this? Protection. No. Well, we can certainly help against the Stark situation. Well, we also have. Uh, we also can let them know that we have the 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 uh, barbarians are under our uh, are under our uh, portfolio. Banner. Is the word? Banner. Banner. There's so recently. The... Yeah. You can let them know that the barbarians are would not be a problem to him. Sure. Hmm. I will admit the stocks are active. He'll also of course retain all the authority he currently has just with someone ahead of him in the chain. Mm hmm. Would there be a position for me? What would you want? What position would you be after? Well, you know, I am bringing a good area of land. You know, I my lands are almost as large as your own. My military, not so much, I will admit. And, but I think that, you know, a place on the council would at least be fitting with my place position. What uh? What, what I need to go rush shuffle the first Crusader King royal title uh titles and such. Give me a second. The, he doesn't actually need a, a like a formal position on the council. So he would or would not need a formal position on the council. Well, I, it's not like um, he doesn't need to become like master of calling or anything. Like that he just needs a place on the council. Just a um. I don't no, but, think we actually hand out titles to people yeah. on the council just for being on the council and. I mean, he could. I was just gonna say he could be the royal trendsetter. He would he have, have, you know. He will always be the royal trendsetter. I mean, officially That's the royal kind trendsetter. Kind of his job. I, I meant more fashion trendsetter, but sure. Here's a question: Does he have any actual skills? Huh. I'm a nobleman. So no. that is, I mean, what's his? What's I have, his I have kept my family and I have kept this land free of Nick, the horrors of this land, this, um, for centuries. We're just asking, what level is the stewardship? Hang on, let me roll empathy. I can easily determine that unless I botch. I can easily determine that unless I can't. Yes. Two, three, four, five, six, nine, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Broken straight. Yeah, not imp quite impressive. All right, let me let me also. He's clearly a fop. He is a fop, but no one ever said that fobs can't do things. Citation needed. <laughs> um. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I have no means of actually discerning it, it, how good he is at things, but yeah, I honestly, I'm cool. I'm cool with him having a council leadership position. I'm an eloquent speaker. Oh, he has graces. 
Yeah, he's, a good, he's good in graces. What is uh, what's that? What's that thing in uh, Crusader Kings? Or will you have your diplomat guy? That's not a spy. Uh, I'm pr uh, just straight up diplomacy. No, I mean, what's no, your diplomat just, dude? Isn't just your chancellor or something like that? Oh yeah, the chancellor. chancellor. Yeah. I I actually <laughs> yeah. have the wiki open right now. <laughs> Probably a good idea. What do you like? I don't know why. It's not like we're playing it. We need, it. we need a re point of reference for for feudalism. All right. <laughs> I don't know. What do you make it? What chancellorship is it? Does chancellor have a uh, position on what do you call it on the council? Well, I think my current one is you. So. Oh, I'm easily replaced then. I can be replaced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm your marshal. I thought. No, that's Gideon. Okay. G Gideon wow. actually knows how to control uh, command people. I have command as well. I think we all have command. I have command I don't. inspire. I I legitimately don't actually have command. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, well, yeah, like me and Gideon started with like similar character sheets. He just was a. I was fighting. He was uh, spear. smacking people. Yes, spear. Yeah, no, I would say go go ahead and shoot him for chancellorship. Hold on, shoot him for ch what? No, put him in for chancellorship. It, to be honest, he's just happy with a council position. You don't have to. I mean, Crusader's way, King's way of doing councils is one thing, but I mean, you know, just having a voice is what yeah. he's after. Basically, he wants to be there. He doesn't even care if he gets a vote. He just wants his opinion. Yeah. He he wants to be powerful. Well, I mean, if he joins us, what what sort of title does he hold? He's a duke. Yeah, that's that's enough to get a place yeah. on the on the council. And honestly, we are kind of lacking for good at, for opinions of our of the countryside. No. I mean, the other question: Are you going to be um, putting what's the face? I've already forgotten the character. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, what's his? Uh, what's his as Sanders' life, wife, right? Yeah. A or your Adrian? Adrian? Nope. It was uh, Addis. It was Gideon. Gideon. Gideon got him. Oh, Gideon. Yeah. Oh, Gideon did. Okay. Yeah, Gideon's wife. Is she going to be a councilman? Well, she is a duchess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's on the she's on our limited council as well. Literally, you three are the only non-ducal title, at least people on the council. I'm landed at least. Thank you very much, Scoot Your Sire. I keep dropping hints, but I keep failing terribly at my rolls to drop hints. We don't have enough territory to give you anything yet. I'm aware of that. Look, we get, there, there is land out there. We just gotta go claim it first. I'll find once us some we, eventually. You can have Yarmouth once we finish burning it to the ground. It's a port and everything, too. You can get imports. Like, Actually, wine. that's... Is it Yarmouth isn't, or is it Norwich? Uh, Yarmouth is where the deep ones are. Isn't yeah. Yarmouth part of uh, Buckingham's domains, though? No, Dor Norwich is. Um, mm -hmm. Yarmouth is kind of was, but has fallen to the deep ones. Okay, so I'm expecting he expects that back after we take it back. Yeah. Okay, fine. You can have Cambridge whenever we get over there. Would anyone want Cambridge? That's the main question to ask. Anyway. Okay. So, so we yeah. have offered this man a cancelmanship. Yes. And he's, once you've proven yourselves by taking out the deep ones, he will happily accept it. At least he's not having his prove us by fashion, by fashion dress. Right then, we're going to need passage for our troops through your holdings. That is fine, as long as you can prove that they will not... Um, do any form of damage? Oh, we need to make sure that the barbarians. The only aren't damage they like to do is going to be from their feet. From their what? Say. Their feet. Their feet. Oh, feet. They're going to be marching, you know, and roads not exactly paved. And everyone yeah. has has our well shod. 
everyone has their well shun. Mm -hmm. You're well shun, not well shun. Everyone is well shard. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fine. I thought you said everyone has will have their Welsh on. That's what I thought. That's what I thought no. you, you thought I said. No one's getting their Welsh on here. Thank you. Except people in Wales. Good on them. They're not here. They're in Wales. May they stay there. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's like two Welsh the listeners who are hurt by that. I'm surprised you think we have two Welsh listeners. I'm surprised we have two listeners, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, I did join the campaign, so that's down that's... one. Yeah. We don't wait. You think you don't go back and listen to your own work? No. No. Yeah, I have this thing where I hate the sound of my own voice on recording. I didn't like the sound of my own voice. But that I'm makes sure. a lot of sense. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I, I wasn't honest. Scout's honor. Wasn't going to say anything. Nope. Too late now. That's water <laughs> under the bridge that is currently on fire. <laughs> Speaking of on fire, we got a city to burn. Uh, yep. Yay. Yep. Which will we probably be next session at this rate. We can oh, walk wow, up to yeah. the. Uh, oh, shit, where the oh by the way, is Barbarian Lady on our council too as well? Oh, that's probably a good show? point. I mean, she is the second largest landholder in the kingdom at the moment. I thought yeah. you meant the second largest lady because she is big <laughs> and tall. I mean, she's yeah. probably no second about that bit. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure if we get to a flex off, she could probably outflex me. That would be a good way to end the session. See, the thing is, we're not doing that. Oh, don't, next don't time, encourage next time, him. Next time we run into each other, I'm sure. <laughs> I need to reorganize my notes. I've got random bits inside it, random bits. As a as a researcher, Gray, how do you have keep such uh keep notes? Um. Mostly he doesn't. Oh, I don't. I've got documents. Chaotically. Yeah, it's just it is a bit chaotic, this one. I've kind of got, like, my political goals in the middle of my, like, session notes, and I just I just need to sit down and have a reorganize. We do a lot of improv in this, in this campaign. No, it's when I've written them, I've just, oh, I'll just do this here, apparently. Yeah, it, it won't take long, it's just cutting and pasting. Okay, so what did I miss? Um, you were gone. You, yeah, he's, he's, he's said in chat. He's going. Bring a spear. Uh, we realize that Wesser face is probably on the council as well. Delka. You know, you know what fantasy grounds could really timestamps on messages. Agreed. Mm. Yeah, maybe yeah. version two. This is version two. Counselor. Well, version three then. The Unity version is coming out soon. Oh god, that's gonna be a shit show, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's I'll gonna have a few useful things, so looking at it. Uh, How much experience did we get this, this session? Huh? Um, we'll oh, talk we're about not after. done yet. Yeah. Oh, we're not? We're, well, actually, we're just wrapping up, actually. I think it's a good place to end. I thought you just said we were. Hmm. Um, um, so, yep, yeah, 5XP. And I'll see everyone in the new year. Because realistically, it's nothing's going to happen to the new year. <sighs> it's true. Re uh, realistically, we'll probably be back sometime mid February. Will Will we have? Uh, will we be able to do the um, very special Goblin Christmas? Uh, I don't think we got time now. Oh, that's unfortunate. Unless everything falls apart tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm off for the 28th. Yeah. Anyway, see you next time. I'm gonna end the recording. <laughs> Later.